Hey guys, welcome back. Orb, I'm here bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today, I feel like playing Pissimian. Um, Just going, just kind of strolling through my deck to see what I haven't recorded yet. And Pissimian is up here, so I was just like, whatever. Let's play some P. Let's play some P Sports. Um, I think that's what I the deck, right? Got ourselves some P Sports. Where is it called? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is. <laughs> this is something I threw together on stream. And I saw that Pissimian did, I think it was like top 64 in Philadelphia Regionals. And it had like some cool counter energy ideas. And I was like, I'll try that out too. So we just kind of, it's like a mishmash of different ideas I have together. I haven't tested this deck too much, but I feel like Pissimian is really cool right now. Um, but let's yeah, just get right into the deck. We are playing one top Lele and one Fairy Energy. Just use Psywave against Rayquaza because Rayquaza seems like a rough matchup. Because uh, they can sweep you faster than they can sweep them most of the time. But you can knock out their Vic Volts, which is kind of cool. Magical Swap is also pretty decent just because we are playing Shrine Memories, or Shrine Punishment, as well as Top of Coco Promo. One Diancy to boost the damage output of our Pissimians. We do have our main Pissimian here with Team Play. There's 30 damage for each of your bench Pissimians. Now, unlike before, we don't have Mew, so we can't account for 4 Pissimians on our bench, only 3. Which means that we can only hit for 100, right? Like there's 100 damage, because uh, 3 6, 90 plus the 10, that's 100 damage. Um, with with this, that's 120, and with the choice band, that's 150. I consider playing I, I that's not choice band. I consider playing uh, Kakui in this deck, but I couldn't really find space for it. So we can stick with like 150 damage for now. It's not too big of a deal. But then we have because um, we have we have trying to punish right, which can put things like Lele in range. It's not it's not even that big of a deal. But we have Pissimian here as well. The other Pissimian, as long as Pokemon is on your bench, your opponent your Pissimian is attacked with 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon, evolution Pokemon, I should say. So if it's an evolved Pokemon. It's like you now, you have like one, two, three, four, five. It's like you have five Pissimians on your bench at that point, which means you're hitting for 160, uh, right? 160 with choice bands, 190, uh, with some shrine damage. It's like, it's pretty good damage. So overall, I think Pissimian is pretty cool. I think it has a lot of, like just being able to hit those big numbers for only a DC is pretty good combined, uh, combined with shrine of punishment and stuff like that. Then we have other attackers. We have like Tapu Koko with flying clip that we can spread some more damage. And then we have a copycat Mimikyu, always a great attacker. Um, so I've been, I have some big respect for MMQ as of late. I've been using MMQ a lot in my alternate Cosmo deck. I love MMQ. I think it's a good card. Copycats is a good attack. And the Felch is a good leading attack as well. Everything else is kind of support to make sure that you're, that you can consistently get out your Pissimians and stuff while also consistently getting your energies because we're not playing that many energies, just nine energies. But they're pretty good energies, so yeah. We're playing four Acro Bike for consistency, four Energy Lotto, get those energies when we need them. It's actually kind of useful because sometimes you're going to use a counter energy, other times you're going to use a DCE. So having the ability to use Energy Lotto helps you find sometimes even two or three energies off of it, and then you can choose which energy you want to use for that particular moment. So I do like Lotto a lot. Uh, four Nest Balls just to get out your Pissimians. Excuse me, I had Yon there. Mm. Uh, three stretchers, three should be enough. I could put in four if we feel like we need more. I played, I played games where I haven't used a single stretcher and won them, so uh, <laughs> I put in three in for now. Uh, by the way, that was a mistake. I forgot, I forgot to put stretchers in my initial build, and we still won like three games in a row, which is kind of funny. <laughs> four ultra balls, one Brooklyn Hill, just one because we are playing four Shrine of Punishments. Uh, one copycat acts like a fifth Cynthia, so four Cynthia's. Uh, four Guzma, one Judge, two Lilies, and one Tay and Liza. Draw support kind of thick. We took out the Leles so that we can play a couple more draw supports. So it's like four, five, six, eight, nine. It's not too bad. Uh, and then let's once again, we have a lot of these search items, so we shouldn't be in a situation where we can't find what we need most of the time. Uh, four choice bands, two escape boards. Everything except for Diancy has a one retreat cost, so escape boards not bad in here. And then we have our four counters, four DCEs, and one fairy energy. But that's gonna be the deck, guys. Let's get a couple of games. It's going to be my first time playing this iteration of the deck, so let's wish me luck. Let's see if we can break the streak of always running into our first bad, first matchup. Uh, first matchup being a bad matchup. Although, I don't really know what would be like a horrible matchup for this deck. We're not playing any Psychic Attackers, so like, Buzzgarb could be annoying, but we also Oko Buzzgarb for the most part. Uh, we do hit one, well, we only hit 120, which is kind of weird. Buzzgarb might be actually kind of rough. I don't know. I mean, we have Cocoa Spread, so one piece of Cocoa Spread should be good. Oh, where is where is the deck? This deck's over here. Because like we are ten short from actually taking a knockout on um, Buzzgarb. So many things with post. All these post decks, I have to like, I have to make a new video about. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's do this. All right, guys, we found a game. Uh, probably not gonna cut that out, but I might. Who knows? Um, what are we playing against? Psychic, Fighting, Metal, I think I saw. I don't know, that could be Buzzgarb. We'll see if, we'll see if Buzzgarb is... Because I actually don't know how good of a matchup this is against Buzzgarb. 
Uh, Buzzwool can't two hit KOs consistently while we pretty much can. Um, Coco spread is really good as like a one time attack as well. And then the Garbodors are easy money because we their evolution Pokemon. We actually got a really good hand here. With no uh, nothing to really shuffle draw with though, so it's not like amazing, but it does the job at least for now. We can put down two more Persimians, this one here on the bench, and then another, probably another attacking one. And then we can just start doing the do with team play. That's a 30, 60, 70 damage, that's a 2 hit KO, so that's pretty good. We don't even need all four Persimians down. I uh, guess Buzz Garb either, because we're going to take two hit KOs anyway, so. Let's see. Oh, we're playing against Naga. It's Naga's Deca with some Buzzwall. I think that's a deck, right? It's an evolution Pokemon. We're going to get two KOs. It is Psychic. Oh, man. Once again. <laughs> it is Psychic type attacker, so it's going to Oko us, which is kind of annoying. But uh, that's actually really annoying. I'm not going to lie. All right, so I want to try to knock out this Poipole when I can. So I'm going to try to get as many um, as many Nagas down, as I can, as many Poipoles down as I can early. Uh, if he's playing Stack Attacka, our Coco does nothing. Uh, we can't use Ultra Space, I think. There's nothing for us to grab. Yeah, Stackers are going to be super annoying. We have to do this thing for 80, which means I have to get down all three, because that would be 100. That's a bit irritating. It's fine, though. Uh, stack Attack is going to be a problem. Uh, Naga is going to be a problem. Okay, this is actually really good for us. So we can bench this down now. It's kind of annoying, because I was hoping that I wouldn't need to. Uh... We're not actually going to be able to take an Oko now. Oh, wait a minute. I think we can with like Diancy, right? But then we won't be able to. Hmm. We only have a boosted damage of 60. So we're not actually going to knock this out because of the stack attack back there. If we get a Diancy down, we're hitting for 30, uh, 40, 60. It's not enough either. Well, I'm going to give up on that idea then. We'll just go ahead and do this. I was thinking about putting a Rangu in here either too, but the the other decks didn't play Rangu, so I didn't even bother. I'm gonna grab another attacking Pissimian just in case. We have one Pissimian. No, we don't. Never mind. We have all of our Pissimians. Coco, literally all these. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is classic Aura Bomb special. Worst case, worst matchup opening hand. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have another Ultra Space. Because we're, we're like super mega stuck now. Hmm. That's where that's where I wish I had Lele's. I've been trying to play videos that don't. I've been trying to record video that, videos that don't have Lele just in general. Um, but here we are now. Maybe he'll, maybe he's maybe he's stuck here, right? We did bump his shrine. We did bump his Ultra Space. Uh, we don't have any Ultra Beasts of our own in the deck, and uh, he might not be able to get uh, knocking Adele here, which could be really good for us. We'll see what happens. Maybe he'll judge us, right? Best case scenario. Let's see what happens. No, he's just gonna spit poison. So we do get a knockout at least. So that's pretty good. It gives us a couple turns to just attack while Shrine is ticking away at this dude. Uh, a skateboard is not bad. I don't want to play it though in case I get another Ultra Ball. I'm just gonna team play again. Let's see if we get off the prizes. Choice band. Uh, that's not great. Here comes another one. Let's see. Spit poison. Is he gonna use Knockout Reviver? That's a that's like that's a deck I really want to try. Oh, he did get the Naga. That sucks. All right, now we're in a bad situation. Yep. All right, now we just have the top deck. It's time. I mean, I believe it. I believe that we can. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Shrine is taking his damage, so maybe we can get out of the situation. All right, Guzma is not, like, amazing. But it's not bad either. I'm going to switch and then Guzma to stall for a little bit. Let's we'll try and do its work. We'll pass. Cause this thing is a heavy retreater. You, I'm sure he plays switches or tates or something like that. But like we, we if we don't <laughs> if we don't draw to this, we're gonna lose. Uh, we do hit boosted damage, like I mentioned earlier. So we can hit this thing for 160 if we get all four Persimians down. Uh, what is this? So Dusk Man. All right, cool. So he's banking on using a. Oh, dang, he has Ace Roll. Oh, yeah, we're kind of just boned, I think. <laughs> I think we just lose. Oh, man. All right, we can draw to this, though. It's not. It's, not, it's definitely not impossible, but we have to draw, like, this turn. Uh, or we just have to stall again by playing a stretcher here. Let's see what happens. And nope. I mean, we can attack. We have to use the Lotto only because... Uh, 
Only only because that thins the deck out by one. Oh, we got the fairy energy though. That's not great. Alright, so we get knocked out here, unfortunately. Alright, let's see what happens. I wonder if we get Lele, how good that would be. Because our counter energies are live now. We're behind on prizes. All we need is a draw supporter. Come on, game. Hook me up. There's nine of them in here. We've thinned the deck by quite a bit. Give me something to work with. This is why... Whatever. There's a Tate. I guess he's gonna attack with this. I don't, oh, he's shuffle drawing. Never mind. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't get... Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, I was really hoping that would show up, but it's fine. We have one more turn. Come on, game. Hook me up. Hook me up. Can we not just be dead drawing so many turns in a row? Come on, game. Come on, game. Hook a man up. I just want to play the game of Pokemon. Oh, God, kill me. That's annoying. Well, we get another turn to stall. <laughs> this is ridiculous, guys. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. Mimikyu would be good if we can find Mimikyu. Uh, Mimikyu is in the deck. What do we have in here? One, we have one Cynthia prized and a Lily prized. Ugh, what a pain. All right, once again, another turn to stall. I think once he takes this prize, it would be impossible for us to win. Because, yeah, we can't win anymore. Because just by, if we take two prizes every turn and we exchange knockouts, he'll win this every time. Unless we can somehow knock out both Nagas before they become a pain. If he doesn't get another Naga here and uh, we can bump the stadium so he doesn't go in easily, then we can maybe win if we get lucky. He's trying to avoid shrine damage if I get another shrine, so it's not bad either. All right, last turn to top deck. Can we do it? Can we do it? You know, this game, this deck did really well at 800 man regional. Or like a, that, oh my god, it happened, guys. Boys and girls, we're here. We made it. And uh, we are not in a great position, but I shouldn't have attached that choice band. <laughs> I gotta play this down here, unfortunately. But Mimikyu is not gonna actually help us at all because we don't have any Ultra Beast of our own, right? So Mimikyu doesn't help us because uh, it copies the attack. It doesn't. Yeah, okay, so Mimikyu is not super great. We'll grab a Passimian here and uh, we can attack with Passimian. It's not great either. I'm gonna thin the deck some more by playing this Lotto. I'll uh, we'll grab the DC. Mm, yeah, we'll grab the DC, maybe. Is that what I wanna do? I mean, we're gonna be behind, but we might not be behind soon. I guess I'll grab the counter. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just attach with, we'll attack. I think we attack with the DC. Yeah, we'll just attack with the DC. A lot of our Pokemon can use counter energies. Team play can do some damage here. Not enough damage, unfortunately. We can use counter energy with this and hit for 70. It is not affected by resistance. You don't resist me. 70 won't be enough though. And then he just hates rolls. Yeah, we just lose this game. Yeah, well, like I said, uh, the Aura Bomb special, every time we play a new deck for the first time, it's always the uh, worst matchup, but it's fine. It's fine. That's, that's okay. We were stuck for a while there, so that's just unlucky. These things happen. We'll just move on, play a different game. And I guarantee you this game will go a lot smoother. I can almost promise you it will go a lot smoother. <laughs> Let's see what we're playing though. I saw fighting, I saw lightning. I don't know what that means. Like Coco, uh, Buzzgar with Coco. Is that a thing they play? Do they even play DCs in their deck? All right, so once again, no draw supporter. Yikes, <laughs> I might have to bump the draw support count up by quite a bit. It's just really hard to do that in this deck. I mean, I think the other deck played less draw supporters and it made top 64, so I don't know if it's me. It's probably not me, but whatever. You can thin here. Grab some pass, some pass boys. Uh, I mean, Coco's gonna be good. We're gonna try to get Coco later. I really want to Ultra Ball, but I don't want to lose like a million energies. And I really don't think we're gonna use this Lele this game at all. So I guess I'll wait till whatever we draw to Ultra Ball. Orangiru could be good in here too. Just get Orangiru down in general. But the problem with Passimian is that you don't really want to play these bench sitters because you don't have bench space for it. At least ideally, you don't have bench space for it. So. I might just be forced to play it down anyways, because like if you're gonna have, you're gonna have three bench spaces taken up by Passimians, which will give you two bench spaces left. So I guess we can sacrifice one of them for Rangru. I just really want one of them to be Coco and stuff. Okay, he's playing Buzzgarb. 
or, or buzz rock not buzz garb no buzz garb with a lightning pokemon i don't know what this lightning pokemon is uh we do not hit this thing for boosted damage Toko is good a uh, lele could be good just because side wave hits for a lot um but i don't know how good it's actually going to be we grab another another pass boy and i guess we'll grab the last one here and ditch a counter energy it's not super great but whatever we play nine energies in the deck we'll be all right this way we can hit it for max damage oh we also want to have a bench space open for diancy so you see like how rough it is to like just throw in a rangu just because we can i don't really like the idea of doing it uh, i really want to play lotto but you know what it doesn't really hurt to play lotto we'll play lotto anyways grab another counter energy here and yep we'll hit with the team play and that'll do a good amount of damage to a ko at least and I don't think he'll be able to knock me out in return, so we should be pretty safe. We can use our Brooklet to grab our Diancie, and then we can start hitting these boys for big boy damage. Lycanroc is a scary, but Lycanroc is an evolution Pokemon, so we should be able to hit it for a lot of damage. There's Diancie. And I don't think this will knock me out, unless he has beast energy like right now. No, he doesn't. Alright, cool. So he only hits me for 50. 50-30 snipe, just continuing to hit away at the Pissimians so that they can be knocked out easily. yeah all right this is what i say like i always i my, my general rule is to play 11 basic energies um 11 11 draw supporters in decks that don't play lele uh, and now i'm kind of wishing i went back to that rule but it's fine overall we're okay like like i said like the, the reason why we don't need as many draw supporters is because this happens this should happen consistently which so far it's been happening pretty easy pretty well uh i could retreat if i let him knock me out counter energy is live so i'm gonna let him knock me out instead We'll go ahead and grab Diancy down. And we can Coco spread too, which is pretty nice. But we'll take our two prices here. Uh, Counter Energy won't be live if he knocks me out, which is why I probably should have attached to Coco. But it's fine. Hopefully we can find another DC or something. A skateboard and Nest Ball are pretty good. Uh, we can attack with Fairy Lele. That's not really that great. Hmm. Who do I want to attack with? I mean, right now I can't attack with anybody because I'm not going to be behind on prizes. Beast Ring. That's annoying. Beast Ring's gonna be doing the work. We might have to give him a couple of simians here. I would like to tr get a DCE. So that's another thing. You don't really want to use a lot of early game if you can avoid it. Um, what's it called would be cool. Like a DC would be just nice, right? So let's try to find a DCE. We can save these nest balls for whenever we shuffle back in for simians. And the judge. Okay, I'll take that. We didn't have anything going on, so. Let's see. Alright, we got Draw Supporter. We got Shrine. Stretcher. We got the work, actually. The only thing that sucks is that, like I said, we, this thing's out of range. As far as I'm aware, right? We hit for 30, 60, 90, 100, and then that's it. Just 100. I'm going to try to attack with Coco. Because, like, a one... Is there anything? Yeah, there's nothing I can do to really fix this. Alright, cool. So open your land. Ah, oh, we didn't get DC. That's really annoying. Um Yeah, not getting DC there kind of sucks. I don't want to attach this thing. We're gonna play Cynthia here anyways, right? So uh we're just I need to find DC. That'd be amazing if we just find DC. Is there any Pokemon to shuffle back in? I can shuffle back in the Lele, because the Lele could be useful. So we'll shuffle those boys back in, then we'll use Brooklyn, and then we'll bump it for Shrine. Um and I'll just play down more cards. We are adding another card to the deck, which is going to help us, which is not going to help us find DCE. But I would definitely like, this is why I don't play Rangu right here, guys. <laughs> uh, there it is. Okay, cool. We got the DC that we needed. Um, we can save the Lotto since we have a draw supporter in hand. I'll just go ahead and flying flip here. And this flip does help put pretty much everything in range of Simeons for the rest of the game. So two Cocos wouldn't even be that bad. Uh, I could definitely see adding another Coco. I just got to think about what I can take out. I could probably take out one counter and a Mimikyu. Although Mimikyu is like amazing in this matchup, so I would like to keep the Mimikyu if I can. But like, I mean, Buzz Rock is picking up more. There was a lot of Buzz Rock players that made top 64. Like it, pract it practically looked like half the half of the half of the board was top 64 Buzz Rock. So <laughs> I'm not even like that upset. What's he got here? He's still got Buzz Boy. So Buzz Boy does get knocked out. He's not Guzming, so he can't knock me out. He didn't play Kikui, so he only hits me for 100, which means I'm actually safe to retreat. But I have to find another DC if I'm going to do that. If not, I'm probably just going to attack with Coco again. 
and let him be knocked out because letting him get knocked out isn't a big deal as long as you can use counter energy but we have to try to land oh wait a minute 280 oh it's such hammer damage duh all right uh, never mind <laughs> never mind uh all right let's try to find our boy we need dc here that'd be really nice uh we can't shuffle back in coco right now we did get dc so that's amazing uh who do we want okay we can actually put down mimic you just as a big boy threat this is gonna get knocked down right knocked out right so i'm actually not even gonna use a draw supporter here like i'm not even gonna use lily i'm going to save the lilies for later because the energy lotto should actually find us because we have mostly uh counter energies in there so lotto should most should take care of it uh Maybe I should play Lily now in case I just get it. Well, I don't think he'll judge me again. I'm actually going to play Lily now. Uh, okay, we got the counter energy. So hopefully he doesn't judge me here. But team play should be a knockout. Takes the math. That should be 120. Yeah, okay. I'm not mathing incorrectly. All right, this is, this is perfect. If he takes a knockout on me here uh, and takes another knockout, then our counter energy becomes alive. So I'm just trying to strike fear in this man's heart. <laughs> but ideally, we just find some Guzmas, right? So I can just knock this out. I might just end up attaching it like a fairy energy here so he's a counter energy away from being knocked out uh the cocoa spread was good though because cocoa spread could close us close the game up for us if we can find a dc off the lotto that could be good so i'm probably going to pull this up to the active we haven't found another stretcher yet we have two more left in the deck so finding the stretchers aren't going to be a big deal so i'm assuming he's just going to come in and take a knockout on me if he finds a manual attachment which i'm sure he'll find uh string again oh he's gonna try to attack with babies just to make the try the prize change even i mean if he attacks me with that that's not a big deal oh, i mean we have acro bike that can help us find ourselves a guzma as well guzma would be like amazing because i could everything here is like a one retreat except for this so i could just attach retreat and knock this out and then at that point counter energies are kind of dead at that point i might just go for diancy instead oh yeah he's just gonna start swinging away Start swinging away. All right. That doesn't matter. Uh, all right. Let's see what we can do. We'll give him this. And... Hmm, choice band is okay. I, do I want... I don't want Kuzma. I want to land a lot of... Uh, we got the DC. Can I get a Guzma off this bike? I don't think we can. We did try. We did not. Grab another bike though. We have three Guzmas in the deck uh, because we couldn't find space for four. I'm just trying to think if it's worth. I could play Nest Ball. I really want to save my Nest Balls for whenever I find Stretcher. Oh, we got the Guzma. That's good. So that should be Knockout, right? No, it's not because we don't have the free retreater. Hmm. Yeah, it's actually kind of awkward. We have one Pissimian gone. With no free retreaters. Uh, we can't really make this play work, huh? Well, we could at least attack this thing for damage. <clears throat> Putting in a range of future attacks. Uh, there's no point in doing really anything else here. Because we're going to just Guzma up this thing next turn. And then that should help. Because then we just have to close out the game with one more knockout. Do we have any more DCs that can actually do that though? No, this is my last DC. How am I going to win this? Lele spread? No, I think I lose actually. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't practice Pissimian. I think I just lose here. The best I can do... I'm trying to think, because he's going to take a knockout here, putting him down to two prizes. I take a knockout next turn with Mimikyu, putting me down to one prize. Um, no, well, okay, here's what I got to do. I don't I don't put myself down to one prize. Never. I never never put myself down to one prize, so my, so my thing stays active. I'm going to attack with Mimikyu here and just take a knockout with it. Actually, what I could do instead... Is, oh, is he going to go for Mimikyu? I can see that happening. Uh, 
Or is he just gonna evolve for the sake of evolving? Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> what I think I'm gonna do here is he has 40 XP remaining. Oh, he is going for Diancy. Okay. Well, no matter that doesn't really change anything. Because uh, Shrine is still racking up damage. So if I'm gonna win the game, I have to win the game by knocking out Buzzle. So I'm, what I'm gonna do here, right, is I'm gonna attach my attach this here and take a knockout with. Oh, actually, I can just take a knockout with this Pacimian and save the counter energy for later. Uh, Okay, so I take a knockout here, right? Putting myself down to two prizes. Uh, if I had two Guzmas, I would do this, but... Actually, now I can make this play, can't I? I just have to find another Guzma. Which is not super easy. Because Pissimian can't knock out everything in front of it, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can take a knockout with, with Mimikyu, and then he has to Lycan Rock me again take a knock on my Pissimian and then I'm stuck. So I can't, I can't risk that. I'm going to attach this here though. So he knows that he has to knock out one of these two. I don't know why he knocked that Diancy. Now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't really seem like the best play. Uh, I want to thin. So let me start thinning. All right, let's grab Lele. Is that what I want to do? I mean, I'm probably not going to play it down. I might though. That gives me another win con, right? Because then I just move energies onto uh, just 80, right? Yeah, I can move them onto Coco for game. So it gives me two win cons. Uh, I can choice ban this one because it's probably gonna knock out Mimikyu. Uh, do I burn the Nest Ball? Well, if, I, if I'm planning to win with Mimikyu, then yes. Uh, so we'll burn that, and then we just play Cynthia here. Uh, do I need to play Cynthia? No, maybe I don't. Maybe I just take a knockout here. And then, can Pissimian take a knockout on anything else next turn? Right now I'm hitting for 70, right? 70 knocks out Coco. Yeah, I'm just gonna attack then. We don't have to do anything else. We just attack here. Because we have uh, we have Guzma for next turn. So whether he knocks out, well, that's not true though, because we have to knock out Buzzwell for game, right? Uh, so we hit Buzzwell for 70, which will be knockout because we hit him for, yeah, it'll be knockout for Buzzwell. So Buzzwell, unless he can heal Buzzwell this turn, Buzzwell is kind of, gone so we just win the game off of that if he takes a knockout if he doesn't take a knockout this turn then, oh then we still win the puzzle right because we just lose on the puzzle all right cool so we win this game from the looks of it dope all right cool so a little bit rocky because i'm, I'm not very well versed when it comes to playing mimiku counters but you know it's fine uh even for someone as noobish as myself when it comes to this deck and not mimiku counters uh pissimian counters uh, i'm still able to figure it out so there we go this deck seems pretty good even without me, that's pretty cool. I like Mimikyu. I just love Mimikyu, man. Uh, but yeah, if we find a counter energy, yeah, I think we just win. Pretty sure we just win. He has no way to take a knock on both these dudes because this is out of range of Jet Punch. And yeah, so we should be good. And then we just Guzma. We haven't played a single Guzma this game. Uh, but if there's a couple changes I want to make, I don't know what could this do. Actually, this doesn't do anything. Yeah, no matter. Oh, actually, that could be problematic. If he if he takes a prize, if he if he doesn't take a prize, oh this is problematic. Uh, no, it's not. Just kidding. <laughs> he didn't take a knockout, and we just attack this thing for knockout. There we go. Yeah. And then we team play for game. Boom. There we go. There's our Guzma. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So that was game one. Overall, not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, as you can see, the matchup versus Zoark is pretty easy. And as you saw that game, uh, whenever you don't start with a horrible time, uh, you should be able to, you know, be consistent with your games. So you should be fine. Uh, unlike that first game. So that second game was pretty good. That first game was rough because we couldn't get anything going. And let's see what third game is going to do. So against 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 Rayquaza, you have Nest Balls, Energy Lottos, Choice Bands. You have the works. Uh, we have Filch. <laughs> This opening is weird. If we were going first, it'd actually be really cool because we could just judge. But we aren't going first. Against ba Baby Buzz, you want to try to. Uh... Oh god, is he playing Blaze again? He's playing Blaze again. Alright, how do we beat Blaze again? I mean, if he's the GX version, it's not too bad. If he's the non GX version, it's still not too bad. Uh, it's actually not great. By the time. I haven't really uploaded my Blaze again video yet. I've been bulk recording, as you guys know. So, uh. I don't know what you guys have thought about the Blazekin video, but uh, I think Blazekin's pretty cool. I wish the video was a little bit better, but overall the video was fine. 
Let's see. What's my opponent doing? Okay, look, I see Baby Blaziken. I don't know if he's playing straight Baby Blaziken or he's playing like the, the split with the GX. But in Guru. And Lily for five. You got a pretty good board set up there. Uh, I just don't know how good Shrine is going to be. That's why I'm just like, eh, you know what I mean? Like, I almost want to discard it just because, like, why would I play it? We got Tay and Liza, which is pretty good. If we can find a skateboard into a bunch of Pissimians, that could be really good. So we're going to try to do that. Um, Shrine is on, there, there's a skateboard, so we found part one. Now we got to find a bunch of Pissimians. I almost don't want to bench my Shrine only because, uh... Oh, is Lily better? I don't think it is. Uh, mm, only because I don't. I want to find Brooklet, which is still unlikely, but better than nothing. If I play Judge, that disrupts his like stage two vibe. So I'm gonna play Judge, and I'm just gonna go with it, I guess. Uh, if we get donked, we get donked, <laughs> I guess. But Judge feels a lot better to me because I don't want him to have stage twos. All right, cool. We got stuff. We can actually flying flip, which is pretty big. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that this turn. So overall, we're not like in the worst situation ever. No Pissimians down, but we do get a Flying Clip off this turn. And if we can get a couple a couple of these off, then pretty sure we just win. Uh, we do have Copycat, so ideally he gets a big hand, although it's unlikely because he's playing Oranguru. Usually a Copycat's not great because of Oranguru plays. Uh, nowadays, I'm actually thinking about cutting Copycat on my decks and just playing a Tamarize instead, but we'll see. I still I still think Copycat has its uses as a one-of just because there's so many decks out there that are like the Tempest turn one, and you just don't need to, you don't really need to judge them. Sometimes your setup is more important than actually judging your opponent. Oh, I just broke my guitar pick. Oh no, that's really sad. Uh, oh, we got Ultra Ball. It doesn't really help us as much. Uh, yeah, we'll just copycat. We'll draw four. Oh, my guitar pick, man. That sucks. Uh, there's a Pissimian. Uh, I don't know if this deck will play Judge, but I'll play Pissimian down anyways. We'll just play one down. Yeah, it just thins, I guess. We have Lotto for... We can play Lotto now and try to get a DCE because I doubt this deck will be playing Enhanced Hammer. Yeah, there we go. So it's one less card in the deck, and then we can Cynthia next turn for a good amount of stuff. Uh, for now, though, we'll just go ahead and flip, and we'll be able to sweep the board here in a second. Hopefully next turn we can get ourselves like Brooklet, uh, some more Simians, maybe some Nest Balls, and we can just start attacking over and over again. That'd be nice. <clears throat> you can take a couple more prizes while my opponent's stuck. That's a you want to. This is why I play Judge because you want to pry on these stage two decks. So I feel like the only good stage two deck, like the only really competitive stage two deck, is like maybe, maybe Guardi with Sylveon. Uh, I guess if you count Vicable as a stage two deck, then Vicable as well. All right, so this thing is out of range. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to do anything versus this dude. This thing has, uh, what, 110 HP, uh, which is in range if we have Diancy, right? Because I believe we only hit 100, so we need to get Diancy down. So we need the re remaining Pissimians and Diancy. So that's not, we don't have enough bench space for that. So we're just going to take a knockout here, which is okay. Uh, we're playing Cynthia, so I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping and praying <laughs> that uh, we're not going to be stuck here. Of course, we can just get counter energy and take a knockout, which is probably what I'm going to do instead. Actually, I kind of like that a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find counter energy here and take a knockout that way. So it looks like he is playing the baby version, which I'm I am down to clown with. I love me the baby version. He's playing the Coco, like I mentioned. So uh, I I think my baby version needed like two Cocos in there. But we'll see what happens. There we got we got a we got something going. Uh, another Pissimian. We're gonna get the evolution ones down because they help more. Actually, the evolution ones make it a lot easier to knock out Buzzle, so now we don't even need that full bench. I really want to play Stretcher, but I'll save the Stretchers for now. I don't think we need Coco anymore. Counter Energy would be good. We did not get Counter Energy, but we did get uh, stuff that would help. So we can at least take a knockout here, and he can't, he can't take a knockout return, right? Right now we hit for 60, 70. That's knockout. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to do. I guess we can Ultra Ball away this Choice Band. Which will help us draw later. So we'll go ahead and get rid of choice bands here. And I'm not gonna play down Diancy, I'm just gonna put down another Pissimian. That way, like, our skateboards are still live, and I can just manually retreat if he Guzmas. Uh, so that's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and just do this, and we'll attack with this for knockout. And if he takes another knockout, then our Mimikyu are always gonna be live. In fact, Mimikyu, like, hitting 90 plus spread could be really good against my opponent. 
Uh, Lado is good for more DCEs. We could fail it if we need to for Lily, although I don't think we'll need to. I mean, then again, if we get it, we just attach it. We just attach it to the Pokemon, right? So it's not too bad. <laughs> and now we'll see if Pissimian can take care of the rest of this match. All these baby things are in range thanks to our boosted damage from our Pissimians. So all these baby buzz or baby baby blaze baby chickens, chicken poppers, if you will, and the copy guy for three. Yep, yep. And now he doesn't have a ring down, so this should help our consistency. And this will be knocked out. So we should be able to trade really well here. Our counter energies are probably never going to be live, so I'm just going to attach them to any Pokemon. I'll attach them to Mimikyu uh, if we ever find any. Do this another DCE. I'd rather attach this. We take another knockout here. We save our stretcher and we just lily. Sure, we'll lily. Why not? And that gives us a nest ball, which gets us Diancy. Do I need Diancy? The thing is, I don't think I'll need Diancy like ever. So I should save the nest balls for shuffling Pokemon back in. Because I could actually Ultra Ball away my Lele and nest ball, stretcher, get Brooklet, things like that. So we'll just go ahead and take a knockout with team play. Nothing really to think about here. Uh, like that's outside of like what I want to do for future turns. We have Guzma's in hand now, so Guzma's gonna put be putting in work. We're gonna be knocked out here. I'd rather be knocked out. I'd rather let the damage one be knocked out. Needs a DCE or a manual attachment with his ability. Coco is just really good. I regret not playing Coco. That's why I think the video is bad, right? Because I regret not playing Coco. Uh, I was just thinking like I don't have the bench space for Coco, but after playing it. You do because this is one of the things right this is why i like to stream my decks before i actually like record them and like that game i even knew like at the stream i was like i should play coco in here and then i just didn't play coco because i'm an idiot so it happens <laughs> here's a guzma what's he doing oh he's going for the double knockout here that's pretty good oh wait a minute no he's not oh yeah no no i'm just taking my knockout then come here boy come here boy We go for the damage one. That way it's not as easy for my opponent to take multiple knockouts. And we just play. Play some games. So what can he really do here? Like he needs to evolve, like evolve both of his Pokemon to Blaze again. And then use abilities. He's Guzma stalling and I get to Guzma stall. I get to just take knockouts. I'm definitely going for this Coco now though. Because these other dudes are not a threat to me. Yep. Come here, dude. You ain't going anywhere. You're mine now. And we'll just go ahead and drop these cards. Uh, Cause why not? Yeah, I'll just drop that card. We'll team play here. And at this point, I don't think my opponent can. Oh, we had Diancy Prize anyway, so we can never got it. All right, cool. Yeah. So Diancy wasn't really good in this matchup anyway, so it didn't really change anything. Nest Ball to get another Pokemon. Let's see what he grabs. Does he have another Torchic? Does he have another Coco? He does have another Coco. All right, cool. So I like how this man is playing the list I wish I played. <laughs> and we have another Guzma just in case. I could play it right now, uh, but I don't think we need to. In case he Guzmas me again, I want to make sure that we have options here. Um, yeah, I'll just team play. I'm just trying to think of like I'm like I'm I'm still in like the mindset of like what if my opponent ends me? Should I play cards down? But that's unnecessary. If my opponent judges me, then we're already in a good position because we have a DC down. So like our board is fine. We don't actually have to play anything. He'll go spread, he takes a knockout, and then we win. So, well played. I don't know, I'm not gonna tell him well played. Because I feel like that's kind of rude, you know? Oh, we just take our knockout here. There we go. Alright, well, that's game three. So, we're gonna get one more game because this video is short otherwise. Because he's 40 minutes, but it's still kind of short. So, we'll, we'll get one more game. I really just want to, like, throttle the Zoroark deck. That's, that, that was my goal, right? Is just run into Zoroark and just destroy it. That's what I wanted to do. I love how Pissimian is like one of those decks that are like always a good meta call, but never pans out. <laughs> Pissimian's always missing something, man. There's always something in the meta that just beats it, and Pissimian players are just never lucky. <clears throat> well, it's not even that they're lucky, it's just that nobody ever has the cojones to play Pissimian, you know? Now that he's not in big tournaments. But I know that like if more people played Pissimian in tournaments, we would see Pissimian do well. Because Pissimian just wins. Oh, we're playing against Steven. <laughs> Yo, yo, dude, he's, uh, last time we played, he didn't recognize me. <laughs> we give him a heart, give him some hearts, give him some hearts, give him some hearts, there we go. 
<laughs> I should get my phone. I left my phone on the other side of the room so it wouldn't be bothering me while I'm recording, but uh, I'm going to tell him that he's a video. <laughs> Uh. Oh. Hey, buddy, you're in video. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not streaming, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm just glad you noticed me this time, because last time we played, you didn't notice me. <laughs> I'm trying to get challenges done, so I'm playing Mega Ray or Rekwaza right now. Alright, dope. We'll see how this. That pans out then. Uh, are you on, are you on are you on dis are you on your computer? Are you on your computer? Yeah, I'm on my computer. You wanna hop on Discord? Yeah, sure. Give me like a second. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, this is a thing that's happening. <laughs> uh, how are we gonna win this game? He's playing Rayquaza. Ray Mimikyu doesn't do anything versus Rayquaza, so uh, I really want to play stuff down, but there's nothing really to play down. Let me hop on Discord real quick so I can get on call with him. We'll see how this sounds. We're gonna pop, we're gonna mute the music. Because uh, this is going to be really makeshift. Uh, let me see if I can get uh, Steven on call here. I don't actually remember his. Uh, it's like Xerox, right? Z E. Uh, I don't know. He'll call me. It's whatever. He'll call me. Uh, I guess we just play Lily here. It's a little bit unfortunate. I guess we could filch if we need to. Let me let me get this counter energy down just so we can filch potentially. In the future. Oh, we got Shrine. That's beautiful, but our hand is not great. We'll go ahead and sack off our Mimikyu because we don't really need it. Done. And let's see if we can get him to call me. Just call when on. When on. Uh, fix that. Boom. So my buddy Steven, if you guys don't know, he's another person that does a lot of work on the channel. Well, not really. I mean, he's a guy I usually play like online or, or like live deck matches with, but he was on vacation for a long time. So you guys didn't get to see me play against him for a while. Uh, but he's my boy. He's my boy. He's my, he's my testing partner. He's a really good player. All right. So how are we going to win? We have Shrine. So Shrine is doing its work. And he did not really do much, which is good for us because we get the filch. Uh, I really want to play other things, but we can't. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, yes. Shrine is doing its work. We can filter around. Uh, we'll disable this. That way we can actually get the phone call. All right. We got some Pissimians. Or we got a Pissimian, I should say. Uh, oh, we don't really have any energy. We don't have. We don't actually have anything, now that I look at it. Uh, so Lele is going to be really useful. So we're going to try to abuse Lele. I'm actually going to save this Ultra Ball in my hand in case we need to get Lele later. We need to find Lele and Energy. We have Guzmas that we can stall around with. Uh, we could Guzma this turn just to pull up a Grubbin and stall. But we, I mean, not this turn, but next turn. But for now, we'll just Filch. You know, I'll play the music until it gets back. Then I have to like cut this part out of the audio out. It's going to be weird. Is he going to call me? Bro, come on. Come on, man. The people are interested. Or I'm interested. All right, there's the Volkner. <clears throat> so here comes Rayquaza doing his thing. Uh, we filched into a DC, which is not bad. And uh, with choice, if we can find a choice band, that could be good. We have Lotto in hand as well. Uh, if we land Lotto into a Fairy Energy, I'm just going to Ultra Ball for the Lele. Because it should be in range now, I think. Maybe not. I think it's in range with Shrine. Maybe, we'll see. He's not coming, guys. It's my feelings. Where's my friend list? How do I do this? Mm. I don't actually remember his username on Discord. But I know he was here because we actually recorded a video with him a while ago, or we did a live stream with him a while ago. So I know he exists on here. All right, let's see what this lotto gets me. Can we get lucky and get a fairy energy? Because that'd be lit. Let's see what we can do. We got all three Guzmans, bro. That's ridiculous. Um, all right, let's see what we can do. No, I got the DC. I mean, DC is not bad, but it's not great either. Um, we can hit this man for some damage, but I think I'd rather knock out the Pickable. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll knock out the Vigavolt, which forces him to make another Vigavolt, right? 
and that gives us a prize which activates our counter energies more this is not super great though we're, not, we're, we're in a really bad place right now will it try and rack up damage at least uh but we're gonna definitely knock out this big bull back there because eventually we can find lele fair energy right team play for knockout Oh, the servers are not up right now. Okay, so he just, he just can't log online, so it's fine. Uh, dude, Dianthe's prize like every game. <laughs> and the thing is, I think Dianthe might actually be useful here in a second. Uh, if we can find Choice Man, that'd be really nice. If not, we're just sticking with like Guzmaing a lot. Oh, he did get another Vicka Bolt, so we're gonna have to Guzma this one up too. <laughs> we have to just stop Vicka Bolt at all costs. Because uh, we're he's taking one prize at a time, but we're also not doing anything. We got another ray, so it's another three energies down on another ray. Okay, so we knock out Vikavolt, it's another prize. And we stay behind. We, we want to stay behind as long as we can. And he doesn't, so we're just going to have to Guzma up this one as well. And then Shrine is just taken away. So eventually we'll be able to do something thanks to Shrine taken away, which is pretty good. So right now we hit for 50, right? 30, 60, no, we hit for 70, which is not enough. So this, this is going to be useful. I'm going to play this Lot Oak now because I would like... Oh, now we get the fairy energy. That's annoying. All right, maybe we'll get Lele next turn. Who knows? A little Guzma. Yeah, we need the Diancy down to take a knockout here, I believe. So we'll just knock this one out as well. And team play. All right, so we have we have what we need to beat this deck. Oh, we got Coco. That'd be really good if we can find ourselves a DCE or a counter energy next turn. Because the spread damage is really, really useful. Lele is going to be amazing too. So he needs to try to get down another Grubbin. Can he do it though? I don't think he can. And uh, we can make this deck run out of steam real quick. But like getting all three of our Guzas now is like not super great. All right, can we bring this back now? Because at this point in the game, we're just, we're all out of steam. We're all out of steam right now. So let's see what we can do. But if we can stall long enough, Shrine can do the, can put in the work. All right, we got Judge, so that's something at least. So we're not super stuck yet. We can Judge here. And that'll keep him a little bit more stuck. And we have Stretcher, but we need to find an energy first. So let's see if we can get the lucky off this. Counter, perfect. So now we can Stretcher. Do we take a knockout with this? this is my, I can't play Guzma after this. Um, what do we have down here? Okay, we, have, we can use Pissimian. Pissimian will hit us for only 50. It won't be a knockout. Counter can do some spread. Can we win the game with just spread damage alone, though? I don't know if we can. I have to grab the counter energy anyways. Let me think about this. Okay, so let me think about this. So if I get if I get my boy, Simeon, I'm hitting for 30, uh, 40 damage, 60 damage with this, and 90 damage with this. But if I hit this thing, he's on like a just a just like a just mm, I think I actually have to attack Simeon. No, it's probably better to put these things in the back in a in like a faster knockout range, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. Uh, I'm not gonna get the cocoa down because the Guzma could be really useful. But then again, if I can put this thing in range, which has the yeah, I'm actually gonna put the choice band down. There. I think that's the right play. I have for 50. Uh, if I find another energy attachment, I can always put cocoa back down for more momentum. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what is going to last me the longest. So I saw he has to take, I have to take two more knockouts. He has to take four more, three more knockouts. So if I don't do something here that can get me some knockouts soon, I'm going to lose. I'm hitting him for 50 with this. But if I hit with Simeon, I'm hitting him for 40. I'm hitting him for more. But it all adds up to the same thing. I guess I can always draw another choice band. Because I don't think I've seen another one yet. So I'll, I'll just attach the choice band down now. I'm just really afraid of finding Ultra Ball and that's gonna screw me over. But Ultra Ball doesn't really do anything for me right now either. So we'll just go ahead and fly and clip. All right, so let's see. So everything is here is in getting closer and closer to being knocked out. Uh, this doesn't have the hurl attack. You're not the, I mean the attack that can like damage the bench. All oh, that Rayquaza is annoying as well. But he's gonna have a hard time setting up that Rayquaza so it's not like a huge deal. Oh. He's, he's actually going to march at him. That is, I don't know if that's a good play, but I mean, I'll take it, bro. Uh, okay, we got Copycat, which is another draw sport. We have Stretcher, we have Ultra Ball, we have another Choice Band. All right, we got the works. Uh, we can actually win here, then. I think we can win now. Shrine is just doing the most. All right, cool. I think we can win. 
We don't have any more Guzmas, so we can't rely on Guzmas to win the game. But we can rely on stretchers to get us what we need. All right, so do I sh do I put both Bissimians back on the board uh, and hopefully find counter energies? I think that's what I have to do, right? Uh, as much as I would like Coco, I don't think this deck plays well here. So yeah, we'll just get both Bissimians back on the board. That increases our damage output. That should be knockout, and we should win if we find multiple energy. We still have how many energies we got left? We have uh, two DCs, two counters. So we have four energies left in the deck, and we should have a lot of Lottos as well. Uh, I don't think we run into many Lottos. Oh, we have two Lottos. So we actually have just six ways to get into stuff. This fairy doesn't count unless we find our Lele. Which I would love to Ultra Ball for a Lele here, but I think getting the Pissimians down is a little bit more important. Although, we can always... No, we can't drop anything. Never mind. Um, yeah. Lele is going to be good if we can find it ever. Uh, it's in the deck somewhere. But we also have to find the fairy energy, which I don't think we've lost yet. So, it's not like it's not in the deck. So, everything exists in the deck. We can copy cap three. It's not super great, but it's something... All right, we got Acro Bike. Dude, this gets us another Acro Bike. <laughs> All right, we gotta find like an energy or something. Come on, come on. Okay, Lotto is good, but Cynthia is better for next turn. Right now, if we can find the energy, we can potentially win. The deck is very thin and there's four energies in there. I'm gonna grab the Lotto because we can actually win this game if we land this Lotto. Nice, okay, so I think we can win now. This is a great last game just for me, personally, because I get to play Steven. And I don't get to play Steven as often as I used to. So this should be a knockout here. And he takes a knockout in return. And all we got to do is find our last DC or a fairy energy. And we win the game. And we did not get any draw supporters. I was really banking on getting a draw supporter off of that. Uh, but Lotto, Lotto still exists. The fairy energy still exists. We have Ultra Ball for Lele. We have a lot of outs here. We just got to find them. We can't Guzma. And we can't stall long enough, unfortunately. So, uh, let's see what happens. I almost sh should have Ultra Balled there, uh, dropping these. No, we just got this Ultra Prize, never mind. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to Ultra Ball. All right, this is it. This is the last turn, I think. If we don't get what we need here, then we lose the game. I'm going to grab the Lele, because Lele can win me the game as well. But it doesn't win me the game without a Choice Band, right? Because I hit... How is it hit again? I don't actually remember. 20 for each, so that's 120. So I need the choice band as well, which I don't think I have. I have one more left in the deck, so I actually need a lot of pieces here. Uh, is Pissimian, is grabbing Pissimian better with Ultra Ball? So I thin the deck by one if I Ultra Ball, right? Um, okay, I think I have to put a Rangoon in here. Because if I grabbed, I could grab a Rangoon and that put me in a much better position. I hate that we had to lose the Cynthia there, but it's, it, it literally was the only way we could have won that game. If we didn't take a knockout that turn, then uh, we could have lost. I think, no, we did lose. So we have to win this turn, right? Um, he's going to be at 140 HP. So, okay, we got counter. Oh, don't we win? Oh, we win now. Dope, because we're behind. Yeah, we win. As long as as long as long it's in the deck. If it's not in the deck, then we lose. Uh, yeah, we win. All right. Well played. There we go. That was a close game for sure. Whew. Then we just move the damage. Yeah, we just move the damage. All right, there we go. There we go. Let me go. Let me get Steven on call. Let me see if he's here. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Pacific coming through. I really think we need that Oranger in the deck, though. Let's go over the deck. Let's see if we can get Steven on call, bro. That's my boy. That was, that was fun. This is a fun video. All right. So I think a Ranguru is like a definite necessity. I have both Altaria and Restroom built if you want to. Who's Dark Guy? Oh, that is Steven, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that is Steven. Steven's Guard Guy. Why are, you, why are your name? Why is your name Guard Guy? <laughs> so What's up, bro? <laughs> What's good, Jay? Dude, I think you, I think, I think what missed you up there was judging me that turn when I was stuck. Yeah, I had nothing though. Yeah, that's fair. But you were like, I don't think you you needed anything because you were like a course to win. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, that was a really close game. Like I was just like, oh, I need this energy right now or I lose. <laughs> and I got it. Oh. So that was, that was a close game, bro. Yeah, I have Altaria and um, Rusher Rams. Nice. I think I have all four Altairs. I don't think I have any Rush Rams though. 
Um, like I have four, be... a four and a three. I have three full arts and one uh, one regular art Altaria. So if I wanted to, I can build the deck. Oh, Altaria GX. Oh, that one. Yeah. I don't and know. Then I have I have one regular GX I can give you, and then I have two full arts and two hypers for some reason. <laughs> You've been opening a lot of Dragon Majesty. You have no idea, <laughs> dude. Why? Yesterday's pulls, because why not? Yesterday's pulls were like really stupidly good. Like I pulled um, Altaria, a Charizard uh, from my booster box. Altaria, Charizard, uh, Altaria full art, um, Blaine's full art, another Blaine, a uh, white uh, white Kiram, and I pulled one other GX. Must be nice to open IRL packs. <laughs> I just don't yeah. like that it's fifty bucks on no the ATV. I really want to get it. I just want the die to be to be honest. I don't think I even want the packs. I'm gonna see if somebody can just give me their dice. Because I, I mean, really if want... I can if I can buy another one here in the next week, or if I buy another one next week, then I'll give you the dice. Hey, clean. Appreciate it. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, well, I I don't know what I want to do with Altaria. I guess I guess if people want to see me play Altaria, I can build it. Just don't know, man. I wish you could aqua patch onto Altaria. That'd be lit. That would be lit. <laughs> That'd be really nice. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out and do the outro of this video. Oh, okay, and have fun. Send me, in, send me in this thing. All right, <laughs> All right well, see you later, bro. All right, see ya. All right, guys, uh, that's Simeon. So, I don't know if I guess I can drop Copycat, but Copycat, we drew it. I mean, it's like I said, it's to me, it's always been a fifth Cynthia. Uh, Judge is useful. I mean. We play four choice bands so that we're not in those awkward situations in the deck. In my head, I thought I played three. I'm glad I played four, though. Um, we used Brooklyn in that one game that came in super clutch. <clears throat> Coco was good. I really want a second Coco, but we don't have space for a second Coco. I think I'm going to drop Copycat, though, for a Ranguru. It's, it, I don't really like the idea of it, and maybe that's not the greatest play, but uh, I think a Ranguru is actually pretty useful. Plus, with, uh, with all of our two per energy count... Two energy cards, uh, two energy energy cards. I guess we can probably retreat them more often than not. Psychic is still still a decent attack. It'll give us another Pokemon to attach that fairy energy onto in case we do need to, uh, in case we're not going to use Magical Swap that game. But Magical Swap came in clutch, um, and yeah, we we literally used every aspect of the deck. Even though we didn't get to attack with Mimikyu, we struck the fear of God on my on that Buzzwall opponent with Mimikyu. So. Overall, I like Pissimian. I've always liked Pissimian. I've always thought Pissimian was a good deck. Um, it's just really like based off the meta, right? And with all these, with the good decks being uh, Buzzgarb, it's kind of hard for Pissimian to succeed. But if you can play that matchup well, and if they do, because a lot of the time they have to fill up their board, right? So you just do that Coco spread, and then you just Guzma a bunch. So, oh, we are playing four Guzma too. Okay, I don't know what I, why I thought I was only playing three Guzma. Oh, I know why. It's because in the next video I was going to perform had three Guzmas, I think. Maybe, maybe, well, whatever. We have four Guzmas, so um, knows yourself, know your deck before you play it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. That last match was pretty fun. Um, we got to play against a lot of the meta, so that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, share all that good jazz, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.